What is this? The question isn't where, but when. I didn't say where. It's the year 2075. Welcome to the Sea Lab of the Future. This is 50 years in the future. Yes, why? I recognize, like, everything here. It's just... old. Well, aesthetically, maybe, but technologically, we're way, way past... Why is there duct tape on the hydrogen valves? We don't call it duct tape anymore. What do you call it? Future? Duct tape? Of... of the future? Hull breach. What is that? We'll get to that. Dr. Quinn, before you abandoned C-Lab, you're her finest science officer. And now she needs you again. When did I abandon C-Lab? On February 3rd, 2022, you disappeared from your post, dooming hundreds to die without their trusted lieutenant commander. That's today! You're... Of course, we had to time shift you just before you mysteriously ran from your responsibilities, murdering scores of innocent- You! You murdered them! Just relax. That was 50 years ago. You see, our C-Lab has fallen into a state of disrepair, and we need you to fix it for our new mission. What mission? Well, see, the ice caps have melted, and now there isn't really any land anymore, so we're going to have to move them all down to Sea Lab. Who's them? Uh, people. All people? Yes. In the world? Duh. We can't fit all the people on Earth into Sea Lab. True, but since we have to exclude some people anyway, we could... Solve a few uh, societal problems if we kept out the, uh, well, you know. No. I don't know. I'm just saying there might not be so many issues between different folks if we don't have any, you know, but people. Are you saying you want me to help you rescue only the white people? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Yes. Grizzle Day Captain? Oh, come on, Dolphin Boy! <laughs> no thanks. Now about this relocation program? Yeah, question. How does this time machine work? How we got it's a funny story. That's not what I asked. People of Sea Lab, there isn't much time. If we have any chance of saving the planet Earth, you must immediately collect. Ah! I knew he was going to do that, and it still happened. And it all worked out in my head, too. Then it actually occurred, and it was so fast. I. I thought I was ready. Perhaps, though, my sense of expectation will stave off shock long enough to- Warning. Warning. Excellent. And you do need him? You ain't my commerce secretary. Yeah, um, so you're not going to eat this one, right? Just checking. I'll address the nation tonight. Have a great grizzle day. As president and CEO of the United States of Grizzledom, I want all American Nucks to know we are more than prepared for the upcoming water apocalypse. Thanks to this man, Dr. Quinn. Mr. President, I think this is a little premature. Shut the hell up when I'm talking! Pardon me, Mr. Pre president! The fucking president, that's who! Mm. Anyway, I have the fullest confidence that this man, despite his smart, pouty mouth, will save us all from a watery grave. Isn't that right, Quinn? No, it is not. We done here? He did, and we don't. With an unlimited budget and staff, I think we'd accommodate two, three thousand people down here tops. We can talk about Asians later. Mr. Quinn has work to do. Let me show you to the lab. What makes you think I have the slightest interest in helping any of you? Because if you don't, we'll release this picture of you having sex with Chubby Carol. That was 50 years ago! Everyone who ever knew Chubby Carol is dead! Still, she is pretty chubby. 
fine. Where do you want these buffalo pork strips? Just put them on the floor. And where are my titanium rods? Still waiting for approval on that, but we do have a pallet of garlic apple teeny squares ready for you. On the floor! How's it going here, Q-Man? Fine, just working on the, uh, oxygenetics. Awesome. You need any more butter batter bombs? No, just please leave. <laughs> Not if you don't leave me alone, please. And tell the president I need fiber optic cables and uranium, not appetizers. Where's my assistant? <laughs> uh, never mind. I, I will need that time machine you kidnapped me in, though. Uh, for parts. We're still looking. I'm sure we left it somewhere. But for now, you just work on those, uh... Oxygenetics. Yeah, oxygenets. Don't slack off now. Want to be able to eat off them. Yeah, that looks right. Hi, I need to speak to the head of the EPA. Sir, it is 1985. You can't just walk in here and- This is an emergency. I need to speak with him now. Security, we have a crack dealer trying to enter the White House. What did you call me? He's got a gun. No, it's a welding laser. Drop it. Ah! Oh, God! Someone shot President Reagan. That black man shot the president. Ah! Oh, damn. Uh, let me just turn this thing off. Oh, no! My President Bush has been shot! Someone find the speaker of the house! Dear God, help us! You ate him! Just admit you ate him, you fat, ugly, fat, fat! <laughs> then where is he? Do you know what happens to people who defy the president? They get carved up and fed to his... Well, you! <laughs> oh, God! He shot President Pro Tempore John Stennis! Protect Secretary of State George Shultz! <laughs> What are the odds? Why is this black man shooting everyone? Is it because of crack? Quick, someone get him some crack. Where's the mayor, Marion Barry? Oh no, beloved and respected mayor Marion Barry has been shot. Now where will we find crack? Then why is it covered in onion, raspberry, coconut, creme de- Incoming transmission. Oh no, he's calling. We're all dead. Hey! Uh, up to my ass in wet stuff here. Uh, sir, Dr. Quinn is gone. What? But he was just a Oh! Wait a second. Yeah, I know where he is. Be right back. I'm sorry, it's a very poorly designed laser. Oh no! He's killed Secretary of Health and Human Services, Margaret Heckler! Quick! Someone protect Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, Samuel Pierce! Why? Why are all these people in the same place at the same time? Martin Downey Jr. was Quinn, right. you're irreparably damaging the space-time continuum. <laughs> Do you have any idea how expensive these things are? I had to borrow from the mob. Well, well, well. Looks like we got us a space deadbeat. But I still have three weeks to pay you. Oh, forgot the one you watch. Damn it! Oh god, I can't defend myself! I'm literally unarmed! Okay. So, who's in charge now? Uh, you are? Nice. But if I've been president for damn near a hundred years, why didn't you... I mean, we stop global warming. You have any idea how much pussy the president gets? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. By the way, I've been waiting to tell you this. If you're ever in Venezuela and a couple of teenage girls say it's really fun to choke yourself while they... But anyway, it's not. Now I lost this arm. It's not. Hey, how can you become president if you already pulled him out of the past? I just shut up. And if it was your idea to begin with... Shut up. Wait, if I'm the president... Why was I told to only save the white people? Only save the what? Shuck, we had this conversation. 
Sir, you are a delegator. I made a tough call. Honestly, it's not like you people are big fans of the ocean as it is. All the more reason to save them! I think quite the opposite. <laughs> okay, seriously, get back to work. Look, I can fix everything, but I left all my tools in 1985. Let me grab them, I'll be right back. <sighs> Better hurry his ass up. I'll tell you what, if it was me, I would've just... Oh, no. Shit.